I have only gone to Texas Dreamin' once in 2019, and it was an incredible conference. It was incredibly well done. I would absolutely go again. Um, initially going to Texas Dreamin', my biggest concern was that as an LGBT person and being non-binary, and at the time I looked a lot more masculine, I thought that maybe there would be some kind of an, an issue with my my identity. Um, the, the political situation in Texas has been um, stressful for the LGBT community, putting it nicely. And so that was one of my concerns. But it is located in Austin, and Austin is an incredible town. I had a lot of fun there. I did not feel othered at all. Um, I didn't have anybody say anything about my identity. And, and so my, my concerns about that aspect of going to the conference um, were totally unfounded. I was entirely wrong. Uh, the conference itself was in a hotel and the logistics um, were, it was a hotel or a conference center? It might've been hotel and conference center. Um, they had different like classrooms set up and there was like an upper area and a lower area and there was a welcome booth it's very much in line with a lot of the dreamin community led conferences um and there was a user group event the night before and that was a super incredible event as well um i had a lot of fun at that event um and i did two speaking sessions when i was at uh texas dreamin and the audience was just you know, really welcoming, really incredible. I was super grateful to be there. Um, I did get to sit down with some of my friends and have, you know, like at length, you know, hour long plus discussions either at dinner or outside of the, the convention center hotel um, area. And that is for me personally, that's my highlight. If I can sit down and I can talk to somebody for an hour or more and nobody is pressed for time and trying to run to catch a, a session or something like that. Having that that quality time to just sit down and enjoy the company of others that have similar interests and learn from each other, um, that's really, you know, what makes me happy and what sparks joy for me. So that was super accomplished at Texas Dream and also I was able to, like, towards the end of the conference, I like to kind of go around and, like, look at the, the area.